Let's see, I've tidied that up a bit now. Now, I did tell you right at the beginning that this was an impressionist picture. And if you look at the face while I'm going around the bonnet, you'll see that different things have happened to it. I've put different colours in. And this is what you can do. Almost anything goes. Let me just finish this bonnet and I'll just let you peruse that for just a little longer before we I show you what I've done. Now we've got the um, hat. Uh, it's quite a strong colour there. As I said, it comes down to that. Then we've got his nose. So let's just um, preempt the fact that we're going to put that in in a minute. And we will probably do that soon because it's a good idea to do the faces first. Now here, I'm putting this red directly on. You know the reason for this by now. Red doesn't like having base colours underneath it. It's all right on the face because we're, we want it to be subdued. But this is a, like a... Now in the back here, I'm making this a little lighter because I'm going to put another colour on here. It's um, a little darker. Not, not so much on the, this section of the red, but at the back there. I'm going to leave that alone. And let's just move to, to the next colour, which now I'm going to put in um, the problem with here. here well, let's try it anyway. With 192, it can be a bit hard. However, you know, let's give it a go. I'm hoping that uh, with the colour shaper in a minute we can do something with it. I like 192, although most of you will real if you've followed me on reds before, you know that I prefer 225. But, but if I was to use my colour shaper, I can find it here. And we maybe we can use that. Yes, we can. That will give us a blend. We don't have to let's get rid of that for a minute. Okay, that's uh, good. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a darker section at the back. Now oh, that's working all right. Because what I'm going to do is put black on there. Well, as well as other colours, like for instance 160, which I've used back here. And as I said, almost anything goes. Let's just put a little bit of. It's a cross between painting and drawing now we're doing. Got any idea? That's the idea we're looking for. Anyway, I can complete that in a minute. Um, but because that works so well, we can also put that in here. Remember the two colours, see? Black and the 160. be then blended. I use 191 there but we can use uh, 118 as well but that will give us a richer. Yeah that's nice. Nice and rich. If I wanted to put, let's say I did, and I think I probably do, want to put a lighter area in there, what we can do is just take a, just a little bit of red out with our hard end of the double-ended eraser, like that. So just a little bit of light in there. And then when the red goes in now, it will be just a little bit richer. Right? Good. We leave that alone now. Um, here, let's do this. I'm going to use the two eight three. But here, I'm going to use another colour, and uh, this colour is going to be. Uh, if I can find it. Um, no, I can't. Okay, give me a minute, folks. I've lost the colour that I was going to show you. I found it. 
that's one a double eight. It gives a, a really attractive ready hair. And let's use our color shaper again to lose all the sparkle on the paper and a bit of the 160 and then the black picked a 190 up as well which I've used so add that to your arsenal it's similar to 191 but just a little bit um, softer color a little bit of black in there and there we are I think I will call that finished just a little bit more of my One double eight. <laughs> okay. Now I was saying to you that I was using color. Well, I am using color. This is one sixty, which I put in here, and you can just touch that into where you want to add. Like for instance, on the back, on the. I would like the idea of maybe putting a little bit of green eyeshadow in. Now it isn't in the original, but and the one I'm using is 172. It's not too severe, but just a little bit of colour in there. And then you can also put a little bit of blue in as well, if you want to. But once again, you see, this doesn't have to be, it can be anything you want it to be. You got a little more green in there, just a touch. It's an impressionist picture, and that's what I want it to be. A little bit of white now. Now the white, instead of what we did before with the white, we blended it. We don't do that anymore. We just use it now just to put some sparkle in. You see that? Tip of the nose, I told you before. How important that is. And just cut around here. There we can add a little bit of white in there. And don't blend this, sir. Because the idea of whole, all of the, the whole idea of this is to leave just a little bit of freshness on the picture, which said that, ooh, that doesn't. I've uh, lost her lip just a little bit there, but sometimes that works because you can put just a little bit of colour back in, which she did. I love her. I think she's great. So let's move on. Uh, I've still got the bonnet to do, but I won't worry about that at the moment because that will that will come uh, a little bit later. More importantly, really, is the man's face. The relationship between this and this together is so important. So let's get him done. <laughs> 